all right guys good morning it is the 11th today yeah i paused for a really long time i forgot the time what day it was all right so you can see these are the mushrooms that i planted earlier i'm obviously doing a garden update i'm pretty sure these are not called chocolate sunflowers but that's what i want to call it as you can see this is the sunflowers that i planted for us to have some um some shade from the sun when we come out here and sit on the porch and as you can see they have taken off really well so I'm I will be doing this every year just planting sunflowers in the front and then they will give us shade okay so the sunflowers are doing really well as you can see let's move along here um it's my grape plant as you can see it's doing really well here's a um tomato plant that I saved and then I was talking to you guys earlier about suckers and this is a sucker this right here in the middle so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that out you can uh, replant these and um, here here it is you can replant these and get another plant but I don't need another one and actually there's another one in there I uh, haven't been been down and sick but now I'm starting to feel better, so I'm out here doing this, and then I still have to come out here and um, do a um, maintenance. I really need to do maintenance in the garden. So here's the rest of the sunflowers. They're not coming to head yet. But guys, if you want some shade and you don't, you can save yourself some money by planting sunflower seeds and not, uh, you know, going out spending money on all this and that. Here are the zinnias that I planted. I still don't know what this is guys, but I did leave it. It does have a little white something on it. I have no idea what this is. But my zinnias I planted here are fine. Here are the two orchid plants. They're coming along great. And I still do not remember putting over here. Now this little area right here, nothing still came up, which is fine. I can always come back and um, you know, I can always come back and um, plant something there later these are the marigolds and they kind of did the same thing as you can see some came up some didn't this is my knockout uh, rose which is coming along this unfortunately is what my rose bush is looking like now and that's going to be an another whole separate video a little funny TikTok, which is not funny I'm really upset that they destroyed my rose bush like that because the flowers were so fragrant and they smelled so good and now I have nothing because no matter how many times I pick these off and put them in the soapy water it seems like the more I pick they come back with more of a vengeance so as you can see I do have some disease out here which I am going to take care of later this week because I am feeling better this is um Guys, I lost the tag to this. When I start cleaning up, I usually start throwing stuff out and then I lose the tags. But I want to say this is a beef steak. And as you can see, this is doing good. And I'm really happy because for a while I was afraid. The garden was like so stunted and slow at first. I really didn't think I was going to get anything. You can see this is the second pathway that my husband built up for me. You see all the rocks around certain parts, which we're not done. It is for aesthetics, but it's also so that we can keep voles out, which they are rodents, but they're not mice and they're not rats. They're, they're little short brown, little cute things, but they will tear your garden up and eat it up if you don't take care of it. Now, we're going to move over here. Here's the board, and as you can see, the bees love it, but it somehow split off and fell like this. So I have to come out here and take care of this because it's over my dahlia. And um, right now, this bed is a complete mess. First of all, this is supposed to be my pepper bed. And the um, whatever this is growing on the vine took over and the boards took over. So I do have peppers in here. And I'll walk around and you will see them. Here is another. This is just a plant that I saved. It's actually a cherry tomato. Probably all the ones I say with cherry tomatoes. 
Here's a sunflower I planted here. These two sunflowers are doing great over here. Here's some rosemary that I planted. You can see, yeah, my grass is looking very brown and ugly. We haven't gotten rain in a while. And I tell my husband to keep it, to cut it low like this because, like I said, the voles were in here pretty bad. And so this is why it's cut really low. But it's also really bad like this because we need some rain. And so over here, guys, here is, um, see, as you can see, I do have two peppers right here. So this is supposed to be a pepper bed. But whatever this is, I decided to let it grow. It's taken over and the boards need stocked up. Here is my strawberry bed. As you can see, the Japanese beetles are having a time over here too. So they're everywhere. I really can't escape them. I'm starting to get blueberries. Guys, see? Nice little blueberries in here. Just enough to pick a handful, not really a, a large amount. But I am gonna come out here and pick these couple and just like kind of pop them and eat them. Here's my daughter over here. She's uh, <laughs> she's checking the garden for voles so that I don't walk up on one and get startled. And then over here you see my zinnias are doing great. Everything is kind of like it's still looking good. It's just I need to come out here and do uh, oh, thanks a lot, airplane. I just need to come out here and do maintenance. Guys, this is the mini eggplant I got. Look at that. Look at that little thing. Isn't it cute? So those are doing well. This is my uh, tomato bed. These are the tomatoes that I was worried about. They wouldn't come up. But as you can see, they're doing good. These are my deterrents. Everything's finally coming up. These right here in the middle, I want to say are both super beefsteak. Actually, one is an orange one. I do have tags on this, but I need to come out here and like really thin these out. So that's why you can see more Japanese beetles. Anything that's a flower, they will just come and get on and just, just destroy it. Um, kind of got off center there because there are some more pests. You can see I have a pretty good sized eggplant down there. I have one over here. These are the black beauty eggplants. And then back in here, this one right here is my Japanese eggplant. And you can see they have different flowers. The Japanese eggplant flower is purple. And the regular one is kind of like a lilac. But yeah, I need to get in here and prune heavily. Here's my llama beans. Oh, guys. Uh, like I said, I haven't been out here in about a week or more because I've, I've not been feeling well. Here's some my llama beans, so I do have some beans on there. Guys, this is so much, so just bear with me. Um, this is the uh, peach cream corn. I have corn on here. So what I'm going to do is walk back around. I'm going to go in the sun so I can kind of try to get out of the sun. This is my Mexican sunflower. It hasn't come to head yet, but it is beautiful. And here's another one. As you can see, it's taller. They are lovely. All right, here's my Monroe tomato plant. And I'm not going to go through and pick suckers off of everything because I'm not going to do that. These are some more nasturtiums, which I need to come pick and take care of. And as you can see, this one has a, this mama one has a flower. All right, we'll go back around through here. Just another sunflower I planted. Like I said, trying to add beauty in shape. Now, behind here, that is my kale. And so it looks like that because, probably because of some bugs, but also because we've been eating off of it. Because I really do enjoy it. Oh, Michaela. Okay, guys, I have my first long bean here. Guys, I've been waiting for this. I've been like, where are the beans? I'm like, the plant is all over the place. Where are the beans? I have my first long bean here. Look at it, guys. That is really long. It's going all the way down here. I actually have two. Oh, gosh, this is exciting because I wanted to see how long they were going to get. So, okay, so I'm finally getting long beans, which is this what this wild plant is. And then back here I have uh, my cucumbers. This really needs a heavy feeder. I can see like one baby one on there, if you can see that. 
But other than that, I don't have anything else. This over here is my um, Callaloo, which is bug riddled. I need to come out and put stuff out, like organic stuff. I mean, it's still pesticide, but it's organic. As you can see, my topsoil is doing good. This one has went to seed, but the ones that are down below the plants that have shade are doing good. And it's delicious, guys. I love to eat it. And I'm happy. Look at my collar. The bugs were out here eating it, but that collard green is taking off. So as you can see, all the beds are kind of, you know, a hot mess. They need to be weeded and everything. But once I take care of that, it'll be nice looking. Here is uh, two cherry tomato plants. This one is Candyland, and it's already set a bunch of flowers and getting tomatoes. And this one is the Midnight Snack, and it's coming along good. And then over here, I have another one, which is the Sun Sugar. I have found that these get diseased a lot. This needs to be actually staked up and taking care of the disease. But it's doing good. Uh, we'll come along this way. These are my teddy bear sunflowers. Guys, they are so gorgeous. My daughter was like, yeah, they're so pretty, but I wish that they were taller, me too. But they're not, this is the height, but I got what I wanted, they're really nice. And then this is just a random sunflower there. Here's my basil, which I've been eating off of this some. And that wild mass of plant I had in here, guys, I took it out. It was some kind of, we think it was zucchini. I had my husband take it out because it was um, overshadowing my peppers. And my tags got mixed up, so I really don't know if this is a um, red bell pepper or green, but they need to be staked up. But you can see this needs some maintenance, but I do have a huge bell pepper down here. But the tag says red, but I don't know if it's the red one or the green one. So I really don't know if I should go ahead and pick that bell pepper or not. I'm going to leave it because I don't need to. I'm not making anything with bell peppers right now. More corn as you can see the corn is coming in and then we walk around here and these are the banana bell peppers and, and they're doing really great they're producing really well and I've been eating off of those over here we have the pinto beans which I'm just leaving I'm just gonna let them dry out on here they are doing great as you can see uh, this is the Japanese cucumber this thing is also doing really well. I'm going to wait this evening to come out in the shade. And I'm going to uh, pick some. And hopefully I can get to one. I'll show you guys. See? They have one down there. Uh, they're really itchy. So, yeah, guys. I have one here that's ready. See how big that is? That's my Japanese cucumber. So, I'll come out this evening and pick off of this. And then I wanted to do some uh, quick pickles. Here's my garlic. And you can see the garlic scaped up, which you can also eat. And here's my other cucumber that's starting to take over, which I need to trellis it up because it's going to take over my other beans here in the middle. And for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of these beans. But you can see the beans there. So, here is our blackberry bush. And I know you guys are going to be like, how does she don't know the name of her stuff? Because I planted a lot trying to have a food forest over here. So, I do have tags. I know that this is a, um, a blackberry bush, obviously. As you can see, it's full of blackberries. They have set and they are delicious. We've been picking them. I'm going to also come out here later in the evening and pick up for these. I want to say, let's go around. I know the name is in here. Here's the berry, the tag, but I don't have the name. Its name is down in here somewhere, and it's the bush is planted so big, I won't be able to find the name of it now. But they're all delicious. Here's my grape plant, which also the darn freaking Japanese beetles got to these too. You can see by the leaves. And it's still on her now, along with a lantern fly, which I hate. And I just knock them off. 
And um, I do have grapes on here. I'm not sure if they're ready, guys. And I'm certainly not going to pick them and eat them. I will have to look that up to see if they're ready. I have no idea. And here is my apple tree. Our apple tree. I prayed, sprayed copper on it, but like I said, I've been sick now for about a week, so I haven't came out and done anything else. I will say it's looking better, but yeah, it still needs a lot to be done. And we would go over here. Same thing with my honey crisp, because the other tree is the Cortland. That's the apple tree my husband wanted, and this is the honey crisp, which is what I wanted. But as you can see, um, it's diseased. It really needs some maintenance, so I'm going to come out here again. And spray them with the copper and then I'm gonna um, get some more nutritional stuff to spray on them look at that teddy bear sunflower from here guys the garden is actually really beautiful it's, it, I got what I wanted okay so we're gonna come over here and we can see we this is right now this area is the beauty of the garden have my corn here my lettuce leaf basil which I'm so happy about because this is my first time having it be successful and my black, my purple basil. And then back there, what you see back here, these are soybeans. Let me zoom in. Guys, I've already had some, they're good. I'm also gonna have to come out here later and pick these with the kids. These are delicious, okay. But guys, look at the sunflower. Look how tall it got. It, it's gorgeous. It's a monster. It's gorgeous. I love it. We're going to go around here to the other wonder that I found that I'm happy about. Look at this. This just opened up yesterday when I came out here. Beautiful, isn't it? I believe this is a Russian mammoth. And over here we have my cherry tomato plants, which these are. See again, guys. When I come out here and work, I've lost the tag. But it's a cherry tomato plant. And it already has uh, cherry tomatoes on it. And we're going to go through here. Guys, look. My bee balm. I think it changes colors every year. Because I don't remember it. Actually, I don't even remember it setting flowers last year. But look at it. it it's gorgeous. And as you can see, the bees love it. The bees are all over it. Look at that. They're happy. I'm happy. Because they're going to make me happy. So. This is pretty much the front end garden. Like I said. The Bible says. Ask and it shall be given unto thee. And I asked. And I got worried. But God shut me up. Because this looks great out here. As you can see I can barely get through it though. Because <laughs> here's another sunflower. That I did not plant there. Um, here's my okra alley here. This is where I'm at. If you see all these tall plants. And here is my African. Well, look at that, guys. That looks great. But I'm not sure if it's ready to pick. I got to go check on that. But uh, my okra plants are set in flower. And all I have to do... Is just come out here guys and just give it a good water and feeding and okra plants can get really tall so this is not as tall as these are going to get because you can see the ones on the end are taller and then over here I have ground cherries guys and so those are what these two are they're not ready you have to wait until the paper is completely brown and so they're not ready here's my lemon tree which is doing really good this was not a success. This is my uh, herb garden. The only thing I got was sage. Don't really know why I didn't get anything else, but I did it. Here are my two pawpaws. Start uh, bare roots, which I need to take care of. Okay, now we're exiting the front garden because that's pretty much it. So you can kind of hear all the little buggies around me. You don't need to look at my pots of beauty. They're fine. Here's my distortion. It's, at, it's absolutely gorgeous. And guys, these this is edible. You can't eat these. But I, I did not plan for it to trail like that. But it trailed itself and it's gorgeous. 
Here's the banana tree we bought. It's looking better. We took it out of captivity because it needed to breathe. It's looking good. Okay. Now we're going up. We're going over to the exper experimental gardens here. And um, they're actually doing good. You know, one of us over here is really struggling. Obviously, like I said, everything that I put down here had to be tomato gardens. I mean, the, these are tomato plants, but cherry tomatoes. I'm not sure if some of these, these look like they are probably bigger tomatoes, but I just kind of planted these all a little close. But um, they're looking good. So I'm going to be able to put up a lot of tomatoes this year. Here are my watermelon plants. This is the first time I've done watermelon, and they have flowers. But we're already in July, and I'm just worried that I'm not really going to get any watermelons. And the cantaloupe ones are doing good. I mean, I might get something, but I'm not going to be, I'm not going to stress myself out and get upset if I don't get anything because it was an experiment. And then we come over here, and this is supposed to be my grain garden. This one is probably not going to be super successful this year either. But again, I'm not going to beat myself up about it, as you can see, y'all bug issues but this one did um set the grain here and this is the hmm what is this it is an amaranth i know that much i can't tell if these are my tapery beans or not right now at this point this all just looks like weeds so i might have really taken care of some weeds don't know but let's go on along. And then here we have the pumpkin patch, which desperately needs some water. I don't see any fruit on this. I just see it's taking off, and hey, I'm going to let it. it. can go ahead. I still don't know what this is. It might just be a giant big weed. I have no idea. You can see that all my lettuce has went to seed, but we're still going to eat off of this. I'm going to be making a... Uh, salads up this week because we're not going to waste all this lettuce um i don't know why these plants are splitting off like this but this one did the same thing as the boards this is my yarrow and it split it off and guys it smells great when you wave your hand through it here's the other lettuce like i said all this is went to seed but i'm fine with it there'll be more i have next year we can still eat it and then here is a view of the garden from up front you see the tile sunflower and guys that's basically it um, my husband came out here and took care of the grass and stuff for me. So all I have to do now is just, um, come out here and do maintenance. But, and that's it. And as you can see, I got my little patio area finally. So guys, that is the garden. And we're going to end it on that note.